Hello and welcome back fellow soldiers. In today's video I want to talk about something that I want your opinion on and the topic that we are going to talk about is team killing. So team killing has been quite a big topic in this game since you can adjust the range that you see the markers on top of each player, the emblem that everyone got at the beginning that was set to a minimum distance I think, now it's set to maximum distance or something like that, uh, which makes it easier to see friendlies, but still you can kill your teammates by accident or on purpose. And as communication is quite a big deal in this game there's also a lot of communication and discussions going on on the hell let loose subreddit and if you haven't signed up to the hell let loose subreddit do that you'll find a lot of interesting facts there a lot of problems that occur for some people and then get solved by the community or even by the developers that also write in the comments. And that topic was also one of the most discussed in the last few days on a post that I saw. And I thought it would be interesting if we all have a look at what that dude that wrote the post is supposing to change or what he wants to talk about when it comes to team killing and what the community has to offer as a solution and what the developers think about that topic. Now to begin this so that we are all on the same level of information, it is possible to punish a player that has been team killing you. Usually you get a pop up in the upper right corner that says if you want to punish your team killer, you can press yes or no. But usually or most of the people don't know what that really means or what will happen. Now what will happen is that whenever someone is team killing another member of its team and he gets punished by that player or by other players too, then the system will recognize those punishments and will add them up. And when you accumulated a certain amount of punishments, then you'll be kicked from the server. At least that's how I understand it and how I've read it in some different posts. Now, if you've been playing that game for a while, you know that there's also an option to kick a player. And mostly that is used because someone is team killing over and over again but is still not kicked by the system. But as you also probably know, it barely ever happens that a player gets kicked by vote, since most of the people are just not gonna participate in the voting and there's no majority of people that is going to vote yes to kick that certain player. Maybe because they are not interested in knowing what's going on or if they just don't know that that player that is going to be kicked or should be kicked has been team killing. And that problem is exactly what Reddit user Jeff QC1 posted on the Hell Let Loose subreddit two days ago. He was basically summarizing all this I just told you and said that there should be a better system for the kicking, especially for team killers, since they can actually spawn over and over again and just kill their whole team and so prevent them from building up an effective offense or defense. And for that problem he also came up with some solutions himself and also asked the community to give some opinions on how they could work on that problem. And he was proposing that the vote kick should add a reason for the kick so that you could choose between being AFK, team killing, cheating, offensive language, etc. And that the voting should actually be by team and not for the whole server or to reduce the required amount of votes that it takes until someone gets kicked. And that is actually also a solution or an option that came up the most among the comments in this post. One other comment that got the most upvotes and also was noticed by the developers was a post by Dino Kebab and he was proposing I like the idea of each punished team kill 
adds another like 20 seconds to spawn time. Second one would be 40 seconds, third one would be 60 seconds, etc, etc. So Dino Kebab would suppose that each time a team killer does a team kill, then he'll get another 20 seconds on top, then 60 seconds on top and so on, until it just takes a hell lot of time until the team killer can spawn again and that would certainly be a very good idea also in my opinion and this comment as i said before was also noticed by max that is part of the developers team and he said this is a brilliant idea. I'll take this to the team and we can get it implemented. We're looking at the best ways to counter this. It's a very difficult needle to thread. As we know, people do make devastating mistakes, but there are also trolls who spend their entire time trying to navigate around the current systems in place. And that's also one side of the story that we have to look at that people just make mistakes and that team kills can happen by mistakes, especially if you are sitting in a tank or if you are shooting from artillery. Even if you are the best artillery shooter, it can happen that you get one, two or even five team kills. Shouldn't happen, but can be. And if that's the case, I don't think that a kick from the server is really necessary. Of course, I also gave my two cents into this discussion. My comment wasn't very much appreciated. Let's put it like this. But nevertheless, I'm going to give you guys a look at it anyways. I was proposing that it would only be possible to kick people in the commander chat and for the squad leads. So my thought behind it would be that if you encounter a team killer as a soldier, you can still vote for the team kick, but only the squad leaders and the commander get the pop up and can vote kick on him. And now you're asking, well, how should they know who this is and why they should kick him? For that, I think it would work if people just follow the chain of command so the soldier talks to his squad leader and tells him, yeah, this dude was team killing me all the time and I'm gonna initiate a vote kick now. Please talk about this problem with the other squad leads and kick him. And then the squad lead would talk to the other squad leads, the commander, and propose to them to kick that certain player because of team killing. And the reason why I think this would be the best option is that the amount of votes needed really is low. Usually you don't have more than eight squad leaders plus a commander or something like that. And usually or most of the time, the squad leads are the ones that are really the most communicative or have to be communicative because they have to lead a squad and also have to communicate with the commander. So I think that could work, but other people replied that there would still be the problem that not everybody can initiate a kick or something like that. Uh, I don't really see that argument, but whatever solution they implement in the end, I think it will still be a better one than the vote kick system that we have now. And you guys now also know that the developers are in the comments of the subreddit and also respond to questions from the player base. Now to end this video, I'm coming to the question I wanted to ask you guys since the beginning and that is what you think would be the best solution for the team killing problem and also for the vote kick problem. So let me know in the comments down below what you think would be the best option to implement and also tell me what your experience was with team killers but also with the vote kicking system i'm very interested in that and i'm very interested in seeing you guys' responses that's been it for this video thanks for listening and watching subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'm pretty sure we're going to see each other on the battlefield.